Hello, my name is Philippe Quentin. I'm the inventor of Chrome Scale. In this video, I'm going to show you very quickly how to use Chrome Scale. So Chrome Scale is very, very simple. It's a, a point estimation method, uh, an agile estimated method, and it works in basically two quick steps. So uh, what you need to start estimating with Chrome Scale? First thing you need is your uh, list of stories or features or whatever items you want to estimate. So let's say that I have some kind of a, a list, you know, uh, of items. It doesn't matter in which order they are. Uh, with Chrome Scale, it's uh, much better to have at least 40 to 60 items uh, to have a good statistical uh, estimation in the end. So let's say I have a, my, my list of items. So what I want to do is, uh, what I do with Chrome Scale is I bring it into Excel, but you can do it um, with any other uh, software. If you can do it straight into your uh, backlog management software, good. This is, uh, then you, you skip a step of estimating in Excel uh, and then having to move it into your backlog software. But let's say for the purpose of this demonstration, this is in Excel. So what I do is I bring my list into Excel but I leave like a bunch of space at the top. Okay, so this is step one. So what do I have here is I have a list and the top one is gonna be the biggest one. So effort-wise, it's gonna be the one that takes the most effort. And at the bottom of the list is gonna be the one that takes the less effort. And what I wanna do in step one is I wanna move items one by one into this top part of the list. So this is like outside and this is like the list. So I take the first item and I move it inside this list. The second item, as soon as I move it up, I'm moving up from the bottom. And then as soon as I encounter anything, I have to ask myself, is it bigger than this other one? And the only information you need to share to know if it's bigger or small or whatever is just to answer that question. Is this one new item bigger than this one? If it is, I move it on top. And if it's not, then I leave it underneath. And I keep doing that for each item. So for those, the programmers out there, this is a simple insert sort. So basically you take each item and you go up saying, is it bigger than, bigger than, bigger than. And as soon as you find that it's not bigger, then you just drop it where it lies. Uh, so that's the key here is to just stick to the bare minimum information for each of the items to know if it's bigger. You don't want to fall into details and all that. Uh, Crumb scale is meant to go extremely, extremely fast. Uh, the extra details can come up later to bring it to the, the ready for sprint type of uh, level of detail. So that's step one. Once you're done with that, you have all of your items in this list. So they're all in there and there, there's a smooth progression because you ask that question every single time, you have a smooth progression from small to big, okay? So step two, Step two, you stay in the same, uh, same spreadsheet, the same uh, Excel thing. You just add a column and that's going to be your, your points column. Okay. And uh, what you do is you start at the bottom and you're going to start uh, what I call distributing the, the points. So it's not a, uh, an estimation like you, you see in any other kind of um, agile estimation thing. You're going to distribute the points uh, up the scale. So the scale that I'm using is the same as the planning poker and other things like that. It's the, um, uh, the, the modify Fibonacci scale. So it, it looks like this. Uh, it starts with uh, one half, uh, then one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 20, 40, and 100. There is no zero. So in crumb scale, you never, ever, ever put anything that was estimated, uh, that not, sorry, not estimated, but uh, already done. So if it's done work, if it's completed, you never put it in there uh, because it's going to mess up your estimation. I'll, I'll talk about uh, this in detail uh, in another video, uh, or you can get information about that in my book. So what do we do is we start at the bottom. Okay, so let's see. So this is not there anymore. Everything is up here. So we start with the bottom one and then we first ask ourselves the question, is this a small item? And this is what I'm going to call a crumbs. And this is why it's called crumb scale. So a crumb is an item at the bottom of the backlog that takes 
like no time. If you ask somebody, can you make this happen? And they're gonna say, oh yeah, yeah, I can do it today. I don't even have to change my schedule. It's it's so easy, okay? It's It takes absolutely no time, okay? You don't have to schedule that thing. So as long as you have stuff like that, those are one half, okay? Those are crumbs. This is a crumb right here, okay? So one half. And you go to the next one above. And is it still one of those teeny tiny things, a crumb? As long as they are crumb, you stay on, on crumbs and you put one half. As soon as you're not sure, like you think, mm, you know what, this might be something that, you know, I would have to actually at least put it in my schedule today. I would have to make space for it. Then you, you move to the one, the first one. So that's actual work, okay? So you move to one and then you keep moving like that. And every time you, in step two, what you do is every time you ask, uh, uh, you encounter a new item is you ask the question is the next one at least twice as big okay even though it's not twice every between each one of those numbers the question is is this in in our consideration at least twice as big so if it's not quite twice as big keep the same number so if it's not the same not twice you stay at one and at one point you're going to say well you know what i think it's twice or bigger then i move on to the next one and you keep going up like that, okay? One of the things that's gonna happen is that you're probably gonna have like long strings of the same number. Let's say I have like six, uh, two in a row, okay? So of course I'm asking for the next one, is this uh, at least twice bigger? So Because I wanna move up to three maybe, you know? And uh, the question sometimes is tough because it's always like, yeah, maybe, you know, compared to the previous one, it's not really twice as big, but there's a whole bunch of twos in a row, you know? So sometimes when you have a whole bunch, you want to compare with the middle one and the, the first one too. So you say, so I have a bunch of twos and the next one, I want to know if it's going to be a three. So I'm asking myself, is this twice as big from the previous one? But then I say, is it twice as big as the middle one of the, all the twos here? Or is it twice as big as the first one of the two there? And if it is, then I move on to the next one. Because you don't want to have like an endless number that always move by a tiny increment. And you do that, you move up all the way. And this is why I call distributing the points. And once you're done, uh, basically all that you have here is uh, this uh, with all the numbers here. This is super important, okay? So it's uh, first of all, what you do is if you're in Excel, you take all those numbers, dump it in your backlog for each one of those items. Your backlog is now estimated. And this, this thing in Excel, what I do is I print it out on a piece of paper. And that's my fast estimation tool for the entire project. Because there's, then this thing is never going to change. And you do not want it to change. You do not want to re-estimate that or mess with it. Uh, unless there's very special circumstance and I, I again I'm not going to go into detail uh, in this video for that but you do not change this thing you do not re-estimate it or modify it this is why I print it okay so you print that out and if you have a new item so the PO comes up and say hey look at this new item you take out your piece of paper your quick estimation tool and you look uh, this time for similar items. You're no, you do not go, is this bigger or smaller, things like that. No, the, the way to use the tool is to say, do I have anything that's kind of similar, like work-wise, you know, or complexity-wise? So you kind of look for stuff that's similar and you take the number off of that and that's your estimation. It literally, literally takes like 30 seconds uh, to estimate things like that. This is why I call it the 30, est 30 seconds estimation tool. And that's pretty much it. Two steps, the entire backlog estimated, you get a free bonus estimation tool out of that. And uh, you know, teams, uh, when they start, they estimate between uh, 20 to 30 items uh, per hour with uh, crumb scale, but a bunch of teams go up into the 60 uh, very rapidly and the, the best teams that I've seen doing using crumb scale uh, they estimate 100 or more and there's tricks to go that fast also so uh, this is uh, this is a very very interesting uh, upgrade from uh, all the other estimation things that you've seen before uh, go see uh, my website is uh, uh, crumbscale.com uh, crumbscale 
Uh, also, uh, in my book, uh, Rally Point Backlog, I have all troubleshootings for step one, troubleshootings for step two, and for using uh, the rapid estimation tool. This is on Amazon. You can find it in uh, paper form or in uh, uh, as, as an ebook. I'm gonna make other videos about Chrome Scale. I'm gonna talk about you know uh, tips and tricks, how to not uh, you know uh, fall into uh, like the the, the normal uh, pitfall that people fall into. And uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's, see you in the next videos and i hope that you enjoyed this method i uh, I'm, I'm willing to share and answer a whole bunch of questions so ask your questions in the comment section and give it a like if you like it and uh, see you next time bye